I'm eight months into roasting on the lowering now, but I haven't yet designed a formal between batch process. However, on roast production days, I do work within strict guidelines, and this is what the video is about. As you design your roast production day, make sure all of your roast batches are lined up ready to go in the sequence that you want to roast. Make sure you follow this sequence every single week without fail. As you approach the end of the roast, make sure you do a couple of checks. One, that your green coffee is loaded for the next roast, and two, that the open gate on your cooling tray is closed. To end the roast, I first start off my cooler fan, and that's in advance of the end of the actual roast. Check the roasted batch, press done on my roast comments. I then press start a roast, up that box. At 20 seconds I stop the mixer, I close my crockster window and make sure the next batch is teed up. At exactly 45 seconds I then press my lift green button which loads green coffee into the hopper. At exactly a minute and a quarter I then stop the lift green and I press start a roast with an auto charge. I will then let the equipment idle up to its return temperature dropping point and away we go.